Okay, so now we're going to spend just a few minutes talking about directions, specifically direction associated with acceleration. And we're just going to look at one-dimensional motion. So we'll talk about right and left, and we'll define right to be the positive direction. Okay, so when we have a sign associated with a velocity or an acceleration, it really is telling us whether it's going right or going left, directed right or left. So we're going to observe motion when uh, both the velocity and the acceleration are positive, and then we'll go and do another one when they're both negative. But we'll start with both of them being positive, velocity and acceleration. So that means the velocity is directed to the right, because that's our positive direction. The acceleration is also to the right in our positive direction. And here we see a motion diagram with the dots left behind at regular time intervals. And what's happening is the uh, space between the dots is getting larger and larger as time goes by. And that is consistent with the uh, velocity increasing to the right. Okay, so that's when both the velocity and the acceleration are both to the right. In other words, V is positive and A is positive. Now we'll do the sort of mirror image of that and we have the velocity initially directed to the left and the acceleration is also to the left. So that means both the velocity and the acceleration are negative. And it's a very similar result to the first case. So the object is now going right to left, the dots in the motion diagram are closely spaced at the beginning and as time goes by they get further and further apart consistent with the object uh, speeding up, right? So when the velocity and acceleration are in the same direction, the object, so what's the best thing to go in that blank? And it's true for both these cases, the object speeds up. Okay, so it's important to remember that just because the acceleration is positive in one case and negative in the other case doesn't mean it's speeding up in one case and slowing down in the other case, right? In both these particular cases, the object was speeding up. So what matters is, what's the direction of the acceleration and what's the direction of the velocity? If they're both in the same direction, then the object is speeding up. Okay, so now we'll look at what happens when the velocity and the acceleration are in opposite directions from one another. Okay, so here we have similar situation with the object moving to the right initially and so the velocity is in the positive direction here but the acceleration is in the negative direction to the left and that means the object is slowing down the dots are getting closer together as time goes by now we'll look at a mirror image of that so in that first case V was positive A was negative look at a mirror image of that so now the initial velocity is directed to the left there is an acceleration, but the acceleration is directed to the right. And so, again, the distance between the points on the motion diagram is smaller and smaller as time goes by. In this case, V is negative to the left, A is positive, it's to the right. Okay, so now what's the best thing to complete this sentence, fill in the blank, when the velocity and the acceleration are in opposite directions, the object and in the first case, the other case, when they were in the same direction, the best thing to use to fill in the blank was speed up. In this case, when they're in opposite directions from one another, the object slows down. Okay, so let's just summarize what we learned here. And one thing to remember is that when you're talking about motion in one dimension, in other words, along a straight line, use a sign to indicate direction. So you choose a particular direction to be positive. The opposite direction is negative in that case. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is we don't generally use the word deceleration. Okay, We're just using acceleration and even though we're using acceleration which often in everyday language means speeding up, in physics terms we often use it, we can use it,
for situations where the thing's speeding up or in situations where the object is slowing down. Okay, so when the object's velocity and the acceleration happen to be in the same direction, the object speeds up. And when they are in opposite directions from one another, the velocity and the acceleration, the object is slowing down. Okay, so that's what you need to keep in mind about signs for velocity and acceleration.